Good morning, everyone. How are you? Brochem a boy. Brochem a boy. Welcome, everyone. So today is Chamish Osir Shvat, which is called Rosh Hashanah Le'Ilan in the Mishnah. So what is this? What do we do with this? The custom in most communities is not to say Tachnon today, and that's about it. There's really nothing else, and there were communities where they did say Tachnon. Uh, so that's uh, an interesting part of the history. And it was an old minig in in uh, parts of Germany to have a, uh, a little party for the kids in school, uh, both on Tuba Shvat and on Tuba Av. No mention of eating fruit or anything. Um, and I had a little discussion with one of my rabbis who says there's really no authentic Kabbalistic source. This is someone who is very dedicated to the Kabbalah of the Ariya Kodesh and the Zara Kodesh. And, he, and uh, you know, you see these quotes around on the internet that the Rizal ate 15 types of fruit on Tu Vishvat, but uh, there's no source for that that I could find. If someone knows it, other than just saying, well, it's on Chabad.org, it would be help us out and we can find it. But this is a person who is a Baki in Kisvi Ari, and he said, there's no such thing. The Rizal did not... Uh, anything for Tu uh, and the actual source, he said, of eating fruit was um, was from the Sabbateans, from the Katshats, you must remember. Which uh, certainly is problematic, and I I had always felt that, personally, that there's a difference between just eating fruit, which is the minig of all the admorim, bismanazeh, it's to have a, a tish to eat fruit, but this safer called Priyat Sodar, um, that certainly is Sabbatean. Nobody, nobody can argue that that is not of Sabbatean origin. If you look at the, and I knew that for a long time, you know, when I was a teenager, I remember in shul they had the Encyclopedia Judaica. And it said there that it was Nathan of Gaza, Natan of Aza, who was the main uh, promoter and disciple of, of Shatz, um, who composed this Tu Vishvat Seder that's become popular. Obviously, most places use a... a an abbreviated version of it. But in any event, it's, uh, to say the least, that Seder, even though I know some Ehrlich Eden, they do use it because they feel that, you know, you can take out the good uh, if it was popular and so forth and, and not uh, engage in this, but the But that uh, certainly, this two Bishvat say the safer creates other. That I would say, there's no question that it's not kosher. That's that's uh, that comes from from this the, the, the Sabbatean cult. Uh, but then the question is, what about just eating fruit? And so I saw a safer that came from a contemporary time. My ancestor, the Chavos Oh, there's a whole machlekes about what his view on the uh, kachats was, whether he was a devotee, which at that time, you know, it's almost like uh, today, you know, being a religious Zionist. It's, it's very common in the Orthodox Jewish world to be a religious Zionist. So obviously, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, parallels there. But again, is there something similar there? 
that most of the Klal Yisrael fell into this trap of, of the cut shots until shots was a Megala who he was and, and uh, another thing is the Sefer Makar Chaim was never published until the 1980s so it was really more or less his own personal uh, records <coughs> we do know that, that the, the, the Zayda, the Heilig Zayda the Chavis Yor, collected a lot of uh, a lot of materials from from the cut shots uh, out of curiosity, just like you know, if someone would look at my collections of writings from various religions out of curiosity, <clears throat> doesn't mean I'm a devotee of theirs. Um, but then again, it would be Muhammad Schuss and anybody in that time until until 1666 who had a Havamina, maybe, maybe yes, maybe no, because many of the Gedoli Yisrael uh, either. Or Makabal, that uh, that there was a chazaka, that the shots was Mashiach, Rechman Lutzlan, or or at least had a havamina like that, or uh, or like I'm saying, I'm trying to lamed a little bit more because my zayda and I and I have a you know a reason to want to be uh, to be uh, involved in in something that's. What do, what do we say? That that's uh, that, that uh, it, it could be. I could be acknowledging that I'm I'm engaging in revisionist history, but the fact of the matter is, we really don't know. And I, I'm sure you know now that he's no the Emmas obviously, whatever he did, B'chaim uh, Chayusa, you know, I hope they don't judge Yitzchak Kulikowski on, on everything I do in my, in this life, when I'm in the, in the next life, hopefully I'll do tshuva for all my averus, and, you know, if people are, you know, watching these videos after I'm not in this world anymore, you know, uh, we can, uh, we can see something positive. any event what are we dealing with here essentially it would seem that uh, so so it's like I said the Makar Chaim says we're easy Vasikin. I've seen Vasikin usually means like upright pious people. Uh al Kolmine Paris and Msoy's welcome that they they would go and make on Tubishvat and make a brach on every type of tree, every type of fruit. So I showed this to this Rebbe of mine and he said he said, really, he said, when it says Vesikin, in that time in history, usually, he didn't say usually, he said, it's, it's no question. Uh, but again, I'm trying to be Mlamitzchus a little bit, but usually, if, if you see that word Vesikin, in that time in history, it's talking about Katshats. And the truth of the matter is, if you read this, he's not making a judgment call whether it's right or wrong, or whether he himself did it, just that he saw such a thing, you know. So it could be, you know, again, it could be Malam and Swiss, but again, um, what, what's this all about? So the truth is, so self called self, though, and live, you know, in the 21st century. Don't live in the 1600s, right? So what do I do? On, on Chamishas Rishvat, and I'll be honest, I do tend to eat fruit, which I do on other occasions as well. Maybe we want to say, you know, kind of like what Moshe said about eating turkey on Thanksgiving, even though I eat turkey on Thanksgiving. Mamish Lukov at Thanksgiving, and I make a Suda Seidoa, Geminic America, 
which again, in, in uh, the old uh, minic in America, you know, in, in the Spanish and Portuguese synagogues, is to uh, not say tafnun on, on Thanksgiving on the 4th of July. And I, I personally think that that's the proper thing to do. Um, you know, I, I, like I often say, whatever the religious Zionists feel about Israel, that's how I feel about America. Um, but so then the same question here about the about the uh, Hagem of Tuba So and I asked this Rebbe, well, does he recite the tefillah for, for the Esrik? So he said he does daven for a good Esrik, like the, the Neisoscher mentions. Uh, but he doesn't recite the tefillah. This is a Sephardi Chacham, actually. He, says he doesn't recite the tefillah from the Ben Yishchai because he, it seems he doesn't believe the Ben Yishchai actually wrote any of the tefillahs that, that he has. And they're also problematic for similar reasons. So, but again, I, I'm a simple Jew. Like Rav Nachman Breslover said, we have to be simple. I'm not a Chochem. I'm a Tom. I try to be a Tom. Certainly not a chokhem in a positive way, but the point is, and I, I don't know if I really uh, have a to me mistake either. Self called self. All the admarim eat fruit on 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 Mishpat. The Sabmarov ate ate fruit. I'm not going to be. I can't. You know, it's the same thing. The same the same chacham is against the 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 shlisel challah. I, I hear you and I agree, but still self goes self. I still do shlisel chala, and the same thing. This rebbe, he, he doesn't follow his rebbe on everything, so it's it's I'm not uh, you know he doesn't follow necessarily the Talmud of Chavadia and the Talmud of Rav Yitzchak Abadi, and he doesn't follow all of their zakalacha. He, he he does his own thing because he knows how to learn, right? So it's the same thing, you know, and here I'm not saying I know how to learn, but uh, I say don't, I just know how to <coughs> to read and say words, and that's really all I do, you know, I'll go through Mishnayas and Gemara every day, I'll say the words, all right, yeah, I can translate the words, but like, you know, like like the Heilig of Meilich says, you know, you can, you can, there are people who not only they can say the words, but they could tell, they could teach others, and they and they're not makayim it themselves. And that's certainly where I am, and so too here with these type of things, with the shlisel chala and eating eating fruit on, on Tuba Shvat. Self called self, I do it, like I said, because Sabarov did it. And if it was good enough for Sabarov, I guess it's good enough for me. Uh, and I know that this Rebbe of mine has a different view all due respect, and he, and he loved the Satmarov, so, uh, but, and, and he agreed on a lot of things politically with him and so forth, but self called self, you know, in the end, we just try our best, we do, and if it, if it makes us feel good, right, that's really what it's about, you know, uh, so we have a little bit of Lag Boimer, Tubishvat, and the, all these things that we don't have to do. Certainly, there's no obligation. You know, there was an article that says, you know, what's Tubishvat all about? And the answer is nothing, <laughs> or almost nothing. It, it's a, it, it really all it is is a a demarker of of the. Um, you know, uh, of legal issues when it comes to uh, tithing. It's a, a very legal thing, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's the New Year of the Trees, it's like the fiscal year. You know, that's all it is, and it's nothing spiritual or spooky or, or romantic about it. <coughs> it's very cold and legalistic. But self goes self, people enjoy making things romantic. And or, uh, or mystical and so forth, and and 
again, what I would say is if we do it the way that Sadiqim did it, like I would, I would definitely say don't use the uh, Sefer creates Hodar, even though, uh, what are you saying, it's quotes from the Zara Kodesh and everything, what's wrong with it? Well, but it, it was the, 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 the one who edited it was uh, brought it together and made the Seder was a heretic, uh, so we should not use that. Also, this nonsense about planting trees. It's not the time to plant trees. And that was never never part of the Indian of, of, uh, of Tu B'Shvat. And uh, not only, again, because it's something from the Zionists, from the heretics, but also because it's, it's something stupid. <laughs> There's no such thing. Uh, it's, it's really poor for the agriculture, even in Erzurl to plant trees on this day. Not a good time to do that. Wouldn't be very pertinent. If you remember that. So, and like I said, there were some communities where they even said Tachanun on, on Tu uh, So, so this to, to say that we don't say Tachanun it's also, it's not a halacha, it's a, it's a local custom that most of the Kal Yisrael follows, but not everybody. In Verms, they didn't, they, they said Tachanon, not to uh, I would say, even though it's, even though it's Shovavim, and it's a, and it's a Thursday in Shovavim, we shouldn't fast today. And so you want to eat fruit? Nothing really wrong with eating food, but don't go into the whole thing with the klipas, this and that, because that's based in something heretical. It's not based, even though it's using Kabbalistic uh, imagery and words, it's, in a certain sense, it, it, it could almost be compared to how, like, you know, the other religions, the Mormons, will use a certain term that to other Christians means something totally different, and Christians use certain terms that to we Jews means something totally different. And the Muslims also have similar things. You know, they'll, they'll, they have words that are our words, but they mean something different theologically and ideologically. <clears throat> and so it's the same thing that we have here. Um, just because people from the Katshats are using authentic Kabbalistic uh, ideology and terminology, the the meaning and the inner points of it is antithetical to everything that the Kabbalah stands for. The, the, the Sabbatine Kabbalah could almost be compared to the Wiccan Kabbalah, the Hermeneutic Kabbalah. It's nothing to do with us and should not be utilized. So you have to be careful and that's why you have that's the major reason why it's important to have someone teach you Kabbalah There's really, and, and it's interesting because I saw some people trying to extrapolate from this. You know, the Mishnah mentions that, uh, according to one opinion, it doesn't seem that that's the actual halacha. Is that Rosh Chodesh Elul is Rosh Hashanah Maaser Behema, right? And there was one Yigerman who I kind of doubt uh, how well intentioned he is because. He refused to say a nice and teshua. And he said he's a rav of a shul that where they do say a nice and teshua, right? And he refused to say it for President Trump, but now he's saying it for for this Biden. And I say it for Biden just just so I can laugh that his middle name is Robinette, but, uh, and, and that he's a junior, you know. But self so, 
<laughs> at least this last Shabbos I said it. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, even though in our we don't say it, I, I, I say it because heavy Mispalo Shlem Shlomalchus. But so called so. Uh, the Sivir Man suggested that, you know, how in a lot of churches they have the blessing of the animals, which I think comes from Francis of Assisi. And the, the, he recommended that just like kind of what we do with Tubushvat with the fruits, maybe we should do, we should have like the churches have blessing of the animals. Uh, we should have something along those lines on on uh, on Rish Um, which is silly, you know, and, and, and who's this guy in Arizona? All right, so he's an Orthodox rabbi. Um, I'm not going to say anything that happens to be a Gerd Sedek that doesn't make a difference. Uh, you know, my father wasn't Jewish today, it's his second yard site. Um, two years ago, he passed on. Uh, my mother's Jewish. But the, uh, <laughs> it's not because he's a Gerd Sedek and not even because he's a Democrat, but because, because it's silly. Even though self goes self, would I do such a thing like that? If it brings people into the shul, you know, trying to do kira, trying to make something exciting and interesting to get new people to come to the shul, maybe. Maybe I would. Um, you know. But I can imagine living in a rural area, people are going to bring their goats and sheep and chickens. Uh, you know, all to, and, and, uh, to be blessed because it's a Rosh Hashanah for Meiser Behema. And Meiser Behema is only on goat, sheep, and, 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 uh, and cows. It's not on dogs and cats, right? But the people, they're going to bring their dogs and cats because it's a Rosh Hashanah for Behema. Uh, these things are silly. Again, self goes self. You know, I make a little tish on too much fun. People want to come to shul because of that. We can do what we do. So thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. And let me know. Uh, what you think, and, and if anybody can find any source for eating fruit on Tu uh that the Arizal did it or anything like that, which we cannot find any source other than websites that don't cite their sources, um, let me know, because I'm really interested in that. You know, I'm sure we have some Bukubalim and Talmud Chachamim here who know this far and better than I do, but I'm pretty sure this, this Rebbe of mine, he knows probably better than all of us do. And he, does, he said there's no such thing. So maybe there's something that the problem is a lot of the things that were said in the name of the Ria Kodesh are 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 Mizuyev. So uh, generally, if it's not in the Shmuel Shorim, it's not really authentically from the Ria Kodesh or even from Rav Chaim Metal or anything. There's a, there's a lot of a lot of false information, fake news out there about the Ria Kodesh. So uh, if to be uh, cognizant and, and we'll see we'll see what happens um, but still self goes self even though it's probably not the right thing to do I still I still eat a little bit of fruit on too much fun so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll clap and I'll hate for that but again we want to use this day to daven for good things nothing wrong with that uh, we can do that any day of the year so we want to do it now it doesn't hurt um, because we need it, we need good things, we need, uh, you know, there's so many threats right now to the economy and so many things, and some people are saying, well, maybe that's a sign, you know, to, that uh, someone said, you know, that the, the Nazis thought that they were burying the Jews, they didn't realize they are burying seeds, as Rabbi Weinberger said last night, and that's kind of what we're dealing with here and the seed falls apart before it before it grows so that's so in the end you know the democrats think they're burying the world but they're burying seeds 
they think they think that they're destroying the world, and it looks like they're destroying the world, and they are destroying the world. But in the end, uh, God is uh, God is sovereign, and He's going to make the the sprout of the son of Jesse. Semach tovad avdecha, son smiach. That's what we're looking forward to. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. We'll see you later.